Hello! Today's video is a craft project. I'm making animal butt magnets. Um, they're really expensive to buy in a store, but they're fun to make and they're easy. So all you need is um, animals, a vise, or something to hold the animal steady, an X-Acto knife for cutting, um, magnets for when you want to make them stick to something, and epoxy or uh, crazy glue if you have that. Um, so basically what I did was I started, I started with a tiger, stick it in the vise here, crank it shut. Um, I didn't squeeze it too tight because I didn't want to squish it or make marks on it, but since I'm only using the butt, it wouldn't have been that big a deal because I wasn't using the front. Um, plus I'm going to paint them later, which you don't have to do, but I'm going to paint mine. Uh, so I just use the X-Acto knife. They're actually softer than they look, um, so it wasn't that hard to cut through, so I'm just going to saw my way through. Don't cut your fingers off. Most of the cuts were pretty um, smooth, which was good for when I wanted to put the magnet on, but some of them I had a little trouble with. Here we go. That's my first animal butt. Now try the hippo. It's a cleaner cut. Yeah. And a bear. I'm doing, I'm doing the whole animal kingdom here. Pulling it apart to find the groove again so I don't cut a second slice for no reason. This one was a harder plastic. Yes, got it. And then I did this eight more times, or seven more times, I guess. I had ten animals. There they are! Woo! So many animals. I kept the heads in this picture to really emphasize how many halves of animals I have. So many animals. Alright, next step, spray painting them. I wanted to make them gold because I'm all about classy animal butts. Um, to avoid getting spray paint on my nail polish, I stuck a... Um, what did I stick in there? A paper clip! And then I shook up the spray paint and sprayed away. It worked alright. There you go, a little rotisserie action to see all the sides. It's very gold. Look how purple my hands are. It's, it was very cold outside on this day. I think after, yeah, and I still got my nail polish ruined. Oh well. I got bored, obviously. It was too cold and it was taking too long, so I just started spraying them. These are the heads. I did all the butts individually, and then I thought I might as well spray all the heads too. And that worked out just the same as spraying each one individually, so if you feel like doing it that way, it works well. Okay, here are my butts. I'm about to put the magnets on. Get, the, get rid of those. Okay, so I have a just like a yogurt lid, the epoxy here. I'm gonna squeeze it out. This one is a, it's like one part um, adhesive, one part like, I don't know, something else, some sort of gel. It only becomes sticky once you mix them together, and it, you have about five minutes to glue all the stuff up before it turns rock solid. So I glued it the two parts, or squeezed it the two parts, sorry, stirred it up with the chopstick, and applied it to my animal butt. I used a little bit too much glue. I should have used a little bit less because when I stuck the magnet on, here it is, sticking the magnet on. Um, when I laid them down to dry, the magnet slid down so they're not in the center. They like slid down to the bottom. And uh, that's what the final thing, and because of the sliding, some of them got glued to the table, but I got it, yeah. Anyway, there we go. Does it work? Yes, it does. Woohoo! Beautiful. And it also holds things, which is perfect for magnets. Look at that. Gold, magnificent animal butt. Perfect for holding your kids' homework to the fridge, your most recent paycheck stub, whatever you want. Animal butts. Okay, thanks so much for watching my DIY animal butt magnet tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you try it out yourself. And um, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!